Welcome, welcome to another vintage unboxing, my very favorite thing. Very vintage unboxing, vintage unboxing. Today I'm doing a little bit of a surprise. I won an auction. It claims to be something awesome. It claims to be in great condition. We will find out together. So without further ado, well that's already done. Pre-opened. Thank you, U.S. Postal Service, for helping me open this before I actually got it. Let's see how this was. All right. Do, do, do what is it? Mysterious, awesome thing with weird, puffy green things. I've never seen packing things like this before. This already is kind of an interesting find just for the packing things. Maybe you've seen these before, but this is a new one on me. All right, one more layer and we're about to see the awesome thing. Are you ready for the awesome thing? Here is the awesome thing. Vintage G1 Omega Supreme. It said like new. I'm going to contest that right off the bat. <laughs> this was not like new. Uh, this is a little bit worn in this area. Just a little bit here. You can see the auction lot number. Let's go ahead and peel that bad boy off. Ages 7 up and up. Includes snap-on weapons and accessories. Operates on two AA batteries not included. So I am going to very gently try and actually crack this guy open so this is a proper unboxing. Let me get this box out of the way. Magically disappeared. Look at that. Alright, so what's the best way to open this guy? Looks like maybe this end over here since it's already pretty damaged. Not going to hurt anything. Claims to be 100% intact. We'll find out together, won't we? Looking good so far. Okay, oh, when the little flappies came off, that's sad. All right, let's see here. We've got a little cool packing insert. Reinforcements from Cybertron. I love all of these G1 battle scenes. This was half the fun. And here, unusually, you have in the artwork Something that actually looks like one of the G1 toys. I love that. All the rest of these guys are hyper-articulated and able to do things the toys were never able to do, but... Oh, okay, it looks like he is well. A couple of these guys are fairly true to their toy forms. That's interesting. And the Optimus face here is a lot more like his toy than the cartoon, so these must be pretty early on. Anyway, I just like that. We've got Omnibots. Power Dasher, Time Warrior, the Autobot Digital Watch. <laughs> All of this cool stuff. Okay, let's move on to the other inserts. Got the exact same insert, just two of them. Okay, not going to complain about that. Two is never bad. We've got the instruction booklet for the heroic Autobot Omega Supreme. All this good stuff here. Less crumpled versions of this is what you would have seen in 1986 had you been lucky enough to receive one of these. When I was a kid, like many of my toy collecting stories, I never had the full guy. I got pieces of Omega Supremes in secondhand store bargain bag finds. So I had the little tank, and I had... I think I had the whole rocket, but I didn't have anything else. So I could give Omega Supreme kind of a face and some arms, but nothing else. But he was still a badass in tank mode. That was good enough for me. Alright, let's take a look at the actual guy. 
Got to keep these videos short for YouTube purposes, but here's a good look at the contents. Here's a neat little tank. Ooh, tire tread's a little worn off on the bottom there. Jetpack thing. Made in Japan. We know. And just a real quick look at my favorite component, the rocket claw arm thing. Whoever thought of that was just cool. Alright, let's take a look at the rocket claw arm thing. There they go together. Ta da And this is big enough to fit exactly zero Autobots. But that's okay. Because nothing in the G1 era ever scaled appropriately. We just let our imaginations believe that they somehow magically shrink down and fit into this. Such a cool toy. Such great memories. And as a quick little bonus, just for scale, I'm going to show you how this guy matches up. To my Gabriel. So this is the modern recreation of Omega Supreme. We're not supposed to say that out loud because this is a third-party company, so his name is Gabriel officially. But here is Gabriel, and here is Omega. Whoop, side by side, as you can see, much, much larger colors. Mm, not quite an identical palette, but a pretty good rendition nonetheless. And this guy is way too heavy. I love this guy, but it's like holding a baby. <laughs> I swear. Uh, it reminds me of those My Buddy commercials, because this is like half a human high, so I'm going to set him down. But that was unboxing a G1 Omega Supreme. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.